and welcome back to Kayla's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a tea review for you. So today I am going to be taking a look at David's Tea's bubblegum tea. And if you're, if you've seen people's reviews of this tea, you, you know. Okay, so actually there's no tea in this bag, so unfortunately I can't show you what the tea looks like because I already steeped it all up because I've used it all up at this point. But the smell still lingers in the bag and it's, people have said like it smells like nail polish remover. Like this, it, hmm, yes. So it smells very like metallic, I guess. I don't know. It smells very, very weird. You do get a like bubblegum smell from it, but it's, it's weird. It is very weird. Um, so I bought this tea. I got it as a tea redemption from David's Tea. So I got this and I was really excited about it because it, so there were no reviews on the website when I bought it and it looked really interesting and it sounded really interesting and it had butterfly pea flowers in it. And I was like, yes, I really want to try that. Um, yeah, so it was a little bit disappointing, but we'll get into the taste of it later. So for right now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read you the ingredients. So this has uh, apple, rose hips, pineapple, apple pieces, apple pomace, butterfly pea flowers, um, natural flavoring, which is, they say it's juicy fruit, vanilla, and cream, and then corn flour and citric acid. So I have it steeped up right here. It steeps up a nice purpley color because of the butterfly pea flowers. I actually steeped up like a whole pitcher. Um, and what I found, is that I let this tea steep for like 15 minutes and it was kind of meh. Just, it, it tasted very like watery. Um, it had like a slight bubble gum flavor to it, but it was mostly just water. Um, and then I, I've i let, so this pitcher I've let sit for like two hours. So what I would say about this tea is that you do need to let it steep for a very long time. But if you're like me and you bought this tea and you found it lackluster, I'm the goal of today is to try and show you a couple of ways to drink this tea and have it not be so uh. Anyway, review of the tea itself. So, oh, and I made it iced because yeah. Um, so the tea itself actually isn't bad, like, like I said, it's just kind of eh. You get a very slight bubblegum flavor, but it's mostly like, it's kind of watery even after like this is steeped for like two hours. Yeah, it just doesn't have a ton of flavor. Um, what I would say is that it leaves my mouth feeling like I just spat bubblegum out. Take that how you will. So it's just, it's it's actually not overpoweringly sweet, which I, I appreciate about it, I guess, but it's just not a very compelling flavor. And because this has butterfly pea flowers in it, we know that if we add something acidic, it should turn from purple to pink. So I'm going to add, I have a pitcher of homemade lemonade and I'm gonna pour that in. And you can see now it is, it's, yeah. I should have done that to the camera and you can see it. But anyway, oh! <laughs> so now it's got some lemonade in it. It changes color. That's always something that's really fun about teas with butterfly pea flowers in it, but there's a million other teas that are better than this one. <laughs> so adding the lemonade, it's gonna dominate your flavor because this tea, it's very light, um, which is surprising because of how strong it smells. <laughs> what I would say is adding lemonade, it pretty much just tastes like lemonade with maybe a little bit of like a fruity bubble gum apple strawberry-ish flavor. But for the most part, you just kind of taste the lemonade that you added in because it's going to overpower it. Not necessarily a bad thing because this tea doesn't taste great in the first place. The second thing I'm going to show you is I have a cup of this and I've left a good chunk of it up top and I'm going to add into the tea some peach matcha from David's Tea. So I've whisked this up pre-brewed it, it's not super hot anymore. And I'm just going to pour this over top. So it just kind of made it like a darker green color. And 
this is nice because you get like a, a nice like light matcha flavor and then you mostly get like some peach and that like fruity and you still get that little tinge of the bubblegum flavor in this. And that's nice. I actually think that this accentuates the bubblegum flavor because um, I think that the, the peach brings it out. But it's still, right, it's not too sweet. It's nice because um, the David's Tea Matchas are known for being super sweet. Like the first ingredient on them is usually sugar. Um, so because you're uh, diffusing this with a whole nother tea, it's not as sweet anymore. So this is a really nice way to enjoy this tea as well. So I have this and I'm gonna add some lemonade to it. And this is an experiment. I've never done this before. So we're gonna see if it changes the color at all and how it impacts the flavor. So let's, okay. All right, not much color change. It made it lighter. I don't know if you can even really see it. It did make it a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, and that's good too. Adding lemonade to tea, that's the way to go. It's so good. Yep, it's good. Um, yeah, what I would say is this tea on its own, not great. It's not the worst. The smell is pretty repulsive, not gonna lie. But the tea itself actually isn't terrible. But what I would say is that if you have this and you don't really like it, it's not the best tea ever at all. Um, add some stuff to it, experiment, add lemonade, add some peach matcha, add other things to it that you think would make it taste better. Um, because it is such a light flavor, pretty much steeping this with any other kind of fruity tea is gonna help the flavor out. So one thing I can say is I did try this with some Caribbean Crush from David's Tea. And this, this tea is like the holy grail of teas, to be honest, it's amazing. You add this to any other tea that you don't like, if you like put it iced, this, I prefer this iced. Um, and it just, the goodness from this tea just infuses and overpowers the badness of any other tea. This tea is amazing. My other suggestion would be to try cold steeping this tea. I myself was not able to try it before I used up all of my tea um, because I only had the two ounces of it. And the, so the first time I tried it, right, it was super, just basically tasted like water with a tiny little bit of a bubble gum flavor. So I tried it again with like a lot more tea um, in like comparison to the amount of water I used. Um, and I'd say like highly concentrated amount of tea and less water um, to make this as flavorful as possible. So I haven't personally tried cold steeping it, but cold steeping is a great way to try teas if you didn't like it the first time. And since it is an herbal blend, cold steeping, like it shouldn't affect the tea, right? Like it shouldn't go bitter, it shouldn't do anything weird. I think my personal favorite way that I've had this tea so far is with the peach matcha. Um, not necessarily with the lemonade, just with the peach matcha. This has the lemonade in it. But that peach matcha really brought out that bubblegum flavor and made it a little bit better. So if you own bubblegum by David's Tea and you're trying to find ways to get rid of it, hopefully this helps and you can find ways that you actually would enjoy this tea. So that's my look into bubblegum by David's Tea. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below. And that's all for now. So as always, happy sipping.